In the heart of a bustling town, there lived a young woman named Emily. Emily was known for her vibrant personality, her boundless enthusiasm, and her unique sense of style. She had a penchant for wearing colorful and unconventional outfits that expressed her creativity and individuality. However, Emily's colorful attire often attracted the attention of curious stares and whispered judgments from those around her. People would point and exchange comments, unable to comprehend her choice of clothing. One sunny morning, as Emily walked through the town square, she noticed a group of teenagers snickering and whispering to each other. Their words were barely audible, but their laughter was enough to make Emily feel self-conscious. She continued walking, her head held high despite the nagging discomfort. Later that day, Emily sought refuge in a nearby park. She sat on a bench, deep in thought. Just then, an older woman named Mrs. Anderson approached her, a warm smile on her face. Excuse me, dear, Mrs. Anderson said kindly. I couldn't help but notice your unique style. It's quite refreshing. Emily smiled, grateful for the positive words. Thank you. I've always believed that clothing is a form of self-expression. Mrs. Anderson nodded in agreement. Indeed it is. You know, when I was your age, I often faced judgments and misunderstanding for my interests. People didn't always understand my choices, but I didn't let that deter me. Emily looked at Mrs. Anderson with curiosity. How did you deal with it? Mrs. Anderson chuckled. I learned that people's judgments often stem from their own insecurities and lack of understanding. It's not about you, it's about their perceptions. The key is to stay true to yourself and not let others define who you are. As the sun began to set, casting a warm glow over the park, Emily listened intently to Mrs. Anderson's wisdom. She realized that she had the power to rise above the judgments and embraced her uniqueness with confidence. Days turned into weeks, and Emily continued to wear her colorful outfits with pride. She faced judgmental stares and hushed comments, but each time, she remembered Mrs. Anderson's advice. She knew that her choice of clothing was a reflection of her personality, and she refused to let others' opinions dim her spirit. One day, as Emily was walking through the town square, a group of teenagers approached her. Instead of snickering, they smiled and complimented her outfit. Emily was surprised but grateful for the change in attitude. One of the teenagers spoke up. We used to judge you based on your clothes, but we've come to realize that you're confident and comfortable with who you are. That's something we admire. Emily smiled, her heart warmed by their words. She had learned that by embracing her individuality and facing judgments with grace, she had the power to change perceptions and inspire others to do the same. And so, in the heart of the bustling town, Emily's story became a beacon of courage and self-acceptance. She showed that facing judgments and misunderstanding was a part of life, but it was the way one responded that truly mattered. Emily's colorful outfits became a symbol of her resilience, a reminder that embracing one's authenticity could inspire others to break free from the confines of judgment and live a life that celebrated their true selves.